Hello, in this video we're looking at Scoop It. I think we'd all agree there's a plethora of tools and resources that are useful to our students online. But we need to be the filter that picks out the best ones. So that ability to create and create content and then share it with our students is really important. And that's where Scoop It comes in. It allows us to pull together collections of resources, either our own or stuff that's available online, and then share it. It's also a great tool for our students to use and to help them develop their skills in curating content. So how do we use it? Well, we log on with either our social media accounts, Facebook or Twitter, or via our email. Once logged in, we can view a dashboard that looks something like this. So we've got curated topics, scoops, topics that are following, and a community of people that are following you and, and you're following them. You can create a topic just by adding a name and uh, some information and then once you've got your topic I've got two iPads and infographics you can then go in and edit that topic. Scoop it is available as an app for both Apple and Android and it's also available on the Chrome store so we just pop along to the Chrome store you can see I've added it it appears up here and when I find a site that's of interest I just click on the scoop it icon and it brings up a pop-up window momentarily and it allows me to add it to a collection. So I've got the collection at the top. I can put in my description. I can add any tags. image I want to share so publish so it's a very easy way of publishing it I can then go back if I refresh the page here you can see automatically it's popped up there and again I can go in these are some of my earlier posts I can go in and I can edit those and it's the same information that appears there So I can play around and make further changes. So I'm happy with that. So I'll just close that box. So that's how you add content and you can just paste links in there or you can upload stuff. You can also come up to the top and based on the name of your scoop, it will give you suggestions. So if I click on the suggestions link, it's given me lots of, of useful things. And if I wanted to add any of those, I could just click scoop it and it would add to my scoop collection. So having done that, what else can I do with it? Well, if we go into topic settings, I can add a description so people know what my scoop's about. I can go to sharing and I can link various social media accounts. So at the moment I've got linked to my Twitter, but I could add my Google Plus. If I go back to integration, I've got the ability to embed a scoop onto my web page, which could be useful if you're trying to link to a, a VLE such as Moodle or Canvas. And I can also share my collection via a link. So there you have it, a really straightforward, easy way of creating content. I think it's a really important skill we need to develop both as uh, academics and as students. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.